Here are the top tips for the December 2024 Advanced Financial Management or the AFM exam. So please do remember, when you're answering the AFM questions, always bear that in mind, you will need to think about the present value of the project that you're undertaking. Which means that the aim of the financial management is to maximise shareholders' wealth. To maximise shareholders' wealth is to maximise the cash flows that could be coming into the business so that these cash flows can be further distributed as dividend to the shareholders. So do bear that in mind that when you are appraising any project or when you are commenting on additional factors that you need to consider, always consider that the project period, the relevant cash flows, as well as the discount rate. So I would say that the project may be lasting for five years, but there might be risk that the project may only be lasting for only four years due to political risk. So due to the economic risk, for example, due to the inflation effect, the cash flows that we estimate may not be quite accurate. And for the discount rate, in most circumstances, in the AFM exam, that you will be required to do, for example, the de-gear, re-gear exercises. So this is why, if you look at my screen, my top tips, firstly, this time, I would say that adjusted present value, or the APV, will be very, very likely to be tested. So the form of this question, my view could be, is that you may be given the pre-populated MPV or APV calculation, and you will be subsequently required to correct the errors that existed in the original calculation. And then you will need to think about how you arrive at the cost of capital as your discount rate. So very likely applying the de-gear, re-gear formula uh, to work out the cost of equity which is ungeared, that's important. And this time, I would say that cost of debt, perhaps there might be a small adjustment on that. So you will need to apply the basis point adjustment to determine the cost of debt. So make sure that you're ready. So do not simply take the interest rate from the statement of financial position. So for example, within the non-current liability, but start just to be the coupon rate. And here, you will need to work out that cost of debt, most likely that the debt would be traded on the market. So this is why you may be given the yield curve and you will need to adjust for the basis point on that. Now, after look at the APV, the next tip for you is the business valuation, which means that we need to determine the value of the asset and to minus the value of liability. So this will give us the value of equity. Now, this time, my top tip is that how you can calculate the synergy. Now, of course, the synergy may come from as two businesses merged together we can have more sales revenue, reducing costs, or the financing part, for example, we've got more funding. So any one of those, the increased sales, decreasing costs, or the increase in funding will be called synergy. Of course, most likely that we may be using the PE ratio approach to calculate that synergy value. Now, not only for that, this time, my top tip will be related to bond, and we may be required to calculate and to comment on the Macaulay duration. Now, in the past, a few sittings ago, the duration concept has been tested, but not for the bond, but just for a project. But making sure that you understand that the same methodology will be applied to values the bond and to comment on the risk of that bond using Macaulay duration, okay, it's the, uh, it's the number of years that we can recover 50% either the cash flows of a bond or the initial investment of a bond. Now, after that, from the present value, 
This time, top tip will be on dividend policy, which means how you distribute your money to the shareholders to keep them happy. And of course, very commonly, is the policies for different dividend policies that you need to compare. For example, is it the constant dividend policy or the residual dividend policy? Now, if it is the residual dividend policy, this means that we only pay dividends if we cannot invest our money in other positive MPV projects any longer. So money left that we can pay to our shareholders. And you will need to comment on, for example, the pros and cons and the indicators from the financial information that is given by the examining team. Again, this time, I will tip the dividend cover using the free cash flows to equity methodology and divide this into the dividend paid to see the dividend cover ratio, to see the ability that we can have sufficient cash flows to pay as dividend. Now, not only for that, of course, uh, in each and every city of the AFM exam, you will be tested about the interest rate risk management and the forex risk management, which means the foreign exchange rate risk management. Now, this time, for the interest rate risk management, again, similar to what we would see in the past two sittings, swaps may come up again, or perhaps the collar hedge is time to come up, combined with the interest rate futures and options. So make sure that you're ready for that. And for the Forex, in a few sittings ago, for example, in March and June 2024, that the multilateral netting was tested. This time, I would tip money market hedge. So make sure that you are ready. Now, of course, I would say that it's just to be a disclaimer is that perhaps my tips are not correct because these are just to be the intelligent guess. Uh, the AFM syllabus, a bit huge. So this means that it's very unlikely that these topics would come up accurately. But I tip these areas, so very important areas, so make sure they revise them very carefully in case they come up so you will score solid marks on these topics. Now, there would be approximately two to three variants okay, of the AFM exams uh, depending on when you sit this exam, so make sure that you notice that there's not just one single paper questions set. Now, the normative part for the AFM for December 2024, I would guess this time, Greeks, Islamic finance, the World Bank function, so make sure that you revise those areas. Of course, for the revision, I created eight Platinum Super Revision Questions Pack where I've set eight questions. If you don't have much time to revise the AFM paper, so given those areas that you've seen on the screen, so please do make sure to go through my eight questions. So for each of the question, the, for example, when talking about the interest rate risk management, so I've got my own set of bonds that using my own mnemonics. At the same time, we've got the video debrief going through how we tackle each type of question. Okay, so it will save you lots and lots of time not over practicing the past exam questions, but uh, reviewing my eight questions will be absolutely enough for you to score a solid pass in the exam. Right then, uh, final words, best of luck with your upcoming AFM exam. APC, accounting for your future.